if you are fed up of using various software to synchronize your folders i will recommend you only one software which will help you to synchronize the folder within your computer or to external drive or on your network there are various tools available but one of the best tools which is free and open source and i have been using it for many years free file sync and open source file synchronization software it's extremely simple and easy to use which works on windows linux and mac os you can simply click on download download free file sync for windows linux mac os or even you can download the source code use the donation edition so you can get the portable one you can get the email notification you can also do the parallel file copy from one source to multiple destinations for business edition you can go for the silent installation which will definitely help you to synchronize the files without opening the software here is the free file sync it is a very tiny software here you can see 19 mb only simply run the wizard portable will work only if you donate free file sync 13.5 version is installed finish the installation now i'll simply go here to desktop and i'll open the software here on the left hand side you can see the overview of the folders the last session that you run and here you can see the source and the destination so from which particular folder to which folder you want to synchronize of course these are two different paths which you have to browse in here or you can even add multiple paths as well my source will be the videos which i have on my computer here is the path of the videos which is available in the videos folder on the main computer and here on the nas storage i created a pc backup folder inside pc backup there is a zen book and this has got the videos this will be my destination and this will be my source let me show you how we can choose the source and destination so here is the source in source i'll be choosing this video folder here and select now you can see here it is in my users video folder and in destination i'll be copying this path which is here on the network and i'll be pasting it over here now what we have to do here i need to make sure that the complete folder of video is synchronized i don't want to have the old data here but my old data should always remain on the nas storage so if i delete anything from here it should not delete on the destination so all these settings can be done you can synchronize it or you can keep the backup or you can do the copy only or you can do mirror so i'll explain you that from here if you see here on settings you have the synchronized settings here so what type of synchronization you want to do one way is that you do the two-way synchronization which means that both sides the file will be same initially it will copy everything from the source to des destination and when there is any change on any of the sites, it will automatically synchronize on both sides. This will be great if you want to make sure that your files are synchronized on both directions. Another is mirror all the files, any new file will be copied from the left to the right. If you delete anything from the left, it will be deleted on the right. You can even disable this option. Second is update. In update, new file or folder is created or updated. It will also be created and updated on right side then is the custom you can choose by yourself how you want to have it for example i can simply remove everything from here and then i can choose by myself here you can see these are the option item exist on left side so what should happen copy them on the right side left side there is a newer file so update to the right side and then there is a right side is the newer file what should happen do nothing okay right now do nothing item exist on the right side only what should be done do nothing so this is the update option which we can choose mirror will mirror from left to right two way will be both ways synchronization in this case i'll be just doing update which means that any new file is added it will be added to right any new file is updated it will be updated to right but if any file is deleted it won't do anything the synchronization setting is completed here now i'll press ok now i'm ready to synchronize this so if you compare this it will show you what is happening here all these files exist here on the left side and nothing exists on the right side so this is what comparison does and i'll simply click on synchronize and you can see here 265 gb which we already saw here 265 gb 7865 and 625 folders exist so what we'll do here you will see the same thing here so total 8488 items are there which include the files and folders click on start it will start reading the files and it will start copying the file we can also see what is happening right now if i go to videos videos are being copied to the destination folder here
and you can see the progress here. I can simply minimize this and do my work, whatever I'm doing, and then I can continue coming back and see whether it has completed or not. I'll stop this for a moment. Synchronization will start again the moment I'll start. I want to save this synchronization setting. So this will be my video backup synchronization setting. If I open this again, it will open the source and destination again. One folder is only there. I want to make sure that this data folder is also copied from the source to the destination. So I'll add another source and destination here. So my source is here. I'll be opening the data folder here as a destination. And here also, I'll be using the destination as data. And here, so I'll be opening the documents folder. I'll browse it from here. This is my source folder. My destination folder will be documents. Now, the synchronization setting will be the same that if I want to create anything on the left side, but if anything is deleted, it won't do anything. So this synchronization setting is fine. Now I can compare the sizes. You will see here that it will start reading everything from the source. And the moment I synchronize it again, 335 GB will be copied from the source to the destination. And whenever there is any new file, it will automatically synchronize the moment I synchronize it in the future. Initially, it will take time depending upon the network connection. So I'll stop this for the time being. I will save this setting so that in future, when I want to run this synchronization again, it will be automatically working. So what I'll do, I will just click on save and I'll give it a name backup to NAS. So here is backup to NAS, which has been saved. I want to create a new configuration now because I want to copy my videos or I want to synchronize my video to the external drive. On NAS storage, it is fine, but I want to have another backup on my external drive. So I'll create a new setting here. And in this setting, my source will be again the videos folder and my destination will be extreme SSD, which is connected. Here is the video folder. I'll select this. Now my source is the videos folder on this computer and my destination is the external drive. And I have already done this backup in past. If I showed you the synchronization setting right now, I will just do the update here, which means that any new file is created or updated on the source, it will be updated to the destination. But if anything is deleted on the source, it won't be deleted on the destination. The reason is because I might delete the files which are extra or which I'm not using frequently. So I want to keep only the backup and whenever I need, I might bring and back but if i delete anything on the right side i don't want that to be deleted on the left side or if i create anything on the right side i don't want also to come back on the left side so this synchronization setting is fine i will click ok i will save this synchronization setting also i will give it a name backup to external drive i might add more folders later so right now this is fine and if i compare it you can see on destination there are few files added whatever is matching it will show on source i have nine directories which needs to be created on the destination as well what i will do now i will just synchronize whatever new files had to be created it will be creating that synchronization is completed now if i compare it again so zero files or folders needs to be copied everything has been copied here and whenever there is any new video for example, if I add anything here, here on the right side, that file is not there, which I just created, which is test.123. I will just synchronize this again now. You can see one file is copied. And if I go back here, test123 file is copied. So this way you can synchronize the files whenever you want. But one thing that you have seen that I need to manually do this. I want the scheduler to automatically do the backup either on the network or on the external drives. So I will open the task scheduler and in task scheduler, it will automatically synchronize based on the time, based on the trigger. For example, external drive is connected. So it will automatically start taking the backup. If there is a specific time, it will automatically take the backup. Or if there is any new file which has been added in the source, so it will automatically start the scheduler and it will do the backup. So I'll explain you that in the next video. So hope you understand how the free file sync works and how you can recover that in the case of any disaster. See you in next video. Take care and goodbye.